We have traveled to Taiwan, to Taipei, for the best breakfast in town. I am here with a local breakfast expert, TJ. And TJ, I can't wait to eat three breakfasts with you. <laughs> yes, that's right. Breakfast is all day here. Let's go. Hell yeah. We are headed to our first location of the day, first breakfast in TJ. What's happening? Yes, so we are at a 24-hour breakfast shop. 24-hour, meaning you can get breakfast the entire day. I like that. So right now she's mixing up eggs for the egg pancake. Some scallion in there and then a tortilla. She's got some dough there. Yeah, it's gonna stick right on there. I mean, this is very, very traditional. It brings me back to my childhood. I eat one of this basically every morning. Oh, he's, she's making the salty soy milk. You guys wanna see over there? The soybeans somehow go through this machine and become mm -hmm. a liquid. Right now he's about to make a fresh batch of soy milk. And the soy milk is what we'll be eating in the salty soy milk in a bit. In the salty soy milk, they also put vinegar. Mm. They also put green onion and they put fried dough. Vinegar for breakfast, yes. all right. The vinegar is gonna curd the soy milk to make it kind of like a tofu stew. Salty soy milk uh -huh. soup. Nothing sounds worse, and, but looks better. <laughs> Like, it looks awesome now that I see it. Egg pancake. It's like an egg breakfast burrito. Basically. This, it's actually sweet tofu. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's like got a strong ginger. Ginger, sweet. It's got a ginger kick to it. It should be good to eat, like, if you're sick. Exactly. Moving on. All right. This is very simple. It's just a baozi, right? Baozi reveal. Yes. Oh. It's full of, I, actually, I can't see from here, but I bet it's full <laughs> of different cool stuff. Mm. Tell me about this place. I actually live pretty near here. <laughs> okay, that's good. So once you get to this restaurant, you're pretty close you to her house. Me. There's so many of these 24-hour shops all across Taipei. It's like the eastern version of a diner in the U.S., yeah. maybe? Before we dig into this, it sweet is. soy sauce. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Check that out. All right, you can dig in? Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Mmm, that is 100% comfort food. Mm -hmm. With the sauce on there, it's sweet, it's salty, it's greasy. Just one bite, right? Or many bites. Bam, done. The thing that people should definitely try is the salty soy milk. And if you kind of notice the soy milk here, it's almost making this tofu texture. It's because of that vinegar. Whoa, a mix of emotions. <laughs> Exactly. When you're eating the vinegar, you think, I'm 100% eating vinegar right now. There was no confusion about it. So I like it overall. Uh -huh. It is a little hard to get used to that vinegar, but I, I like it. I maybe do like it. Maybe you just got a bite with a lot maybe of vinegar. Maybe I, I might have. Yeah, maybe you were just like, vinegar. What was I like? Vinegar. shop sells two special items. One is the scallion pancake and the other one is jiu cai hezi, which is leek boxes. <laughs> what is a leek box? We're gonna find out. Let's go see them make it. All right, you're a pretty good host. Oh, Intro, done. Oh, that's go. it? This is the scallion pancake? Yes, yeah, scallion pancake. It looks kind of like a disc of pita bread, it but it's stuffed like... with scallion and what else is inside? It's just green onion in here. You want to see the layer of yeah, dough right here. Yeah, that looks freaking beautiful. Yeah, but when you cut it, you kind of lose that flakiness and it's just yeah. one giant piece. Okay, right? can you hold this for a second? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want Let the more just... beautiful one? Yeah, okay, okay cool. Cheers. Mmm, it's so chewy, doughy. If you go outside and you go to a street vendor, you're gonna see it's deep fried in oil. When you press it, it's just grease coming out. Right. But this is the more traditional way of making it. They don't use oil to make their dishes. What are your thoughts on carbs? Mm, I love carbs. They're the best. Yeah, they're so good. So we're gonna go back and see how they make yes. it. Right now we're... <laughs> right, hold, come on, okay, come on. Right now we're going to the kitchen. This isn't a normal sit down restaurant. You kind of come here, you pick up your food, you go home and eat it by yourself. This is where all the leek boxes are made. Here we have some bean curd noodles, chives, we have some dried shrimp, and there's just pinches of salt and sugar in here. What did she put in there? Sesame oil. And then they put in an egg. So she says when you add the egg, it makes it stick better. She's gonna finish mixing this. She says to make this kind of stuff, all you need is practice and skills. And she's been doing this for oh. 40 to 50 years. She's got this down. She makes me feel like I could do it one day. Maybe, maybe not. So, um... The leak box production has begun. So she's rolling out the dough, and the dough is made with... Flour, water, and some salt. Just a little bit. That's it? Okay, so each one is gonna be... Each one is gonna be... Com so each one is gonna be completely uniform. Yes. That's a ton of... 
Fondant we're gonna put on yeah. some of the onion batter. Oh, I got it, I got it, baby. Oh, oh. And then, easy, easy, put it back. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta really get your finger in there. You don't trust me? Bam, look at that. Can I get a bowl up in here? And then, this is the big thing right here. We're gonna bowl it. Oh, this lady, she's gonna have an anxiety attack watching this happen. And then, and then, wah! Good? Uh-huh, yes. Yes. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Pretty good for a tall, a tall guy, right? Yeah, a tall guy with eyebrows. So. <laughs> Next, they're gonna cook it up. I was wondering why they called it a leak box. And then looking at it, it kind of bubbles up into a box yes. shape. The sweet lady here just folded one in half for us. So I thought you would eat the whole box. Yeah, so most don't. people think they just bite into it, but it's best if you kind of roll it into a little mm, burrito. It's pretty hot. Yeah, should we All take right. a bite? All right. Uh, let's just do it. Huge. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, it's real hot. Oh. Mmm. Mm. It's really good. Mm, good. We can talk about so many things in every language. It's a nice balance because the bread is very thin. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of filling in there, a ton of steam and heat and different textures coming through. Mm -hmm. I like it. We are headed to location number three, our final breakfast spot for yes. today. This is called Yonghe Doujiang Da Wang. So right up here we have stacks of fried dough, you tiao. I mean, just look at it, it's beautiful. And that's what we had at the first place today. In the today. salty soy milk, yes. But we can also put oh. this between bread, which is what we're gonna get. It's like a bread sandwich. A bread sandwich, A sandwich yes. with more, even more bread. <laughs> nice flipping skills, bare handed. After years of working here, he has lost all sensation on his fingertips. Oh. What's happening here? Now he's making the sticky rice roll, which we will also try. I love sticky rice so much. Absolutely. Is sticky rice eaten a lot here in Taiwan? Yes, it is. Um, in some ways, sticky rice is considered poor man's food because it makes you fuller longer. This kind of food keeps us out longer throughout the day. They have octopus arms, right? They're making toasted bread, yeah. making shell and balls, sticky rice roll, cracking the egg. It's just... When you order here, how long does it usually take to get your it's food? It's fast. Oh, it's fast. But the flavors are incredible. You really love this place. They have a, a small inside. Right. The kitchen is on the outside. Yes. And over here, also on the oh, sidewalk, they, got another... they have a preparation station. It's like they can expand the kitchen out to here too or the yes. dining room. And then my dude here is also making some tasty treats on this table. We just got these right what? out of the oven. They're toasty hot. They're and called crisp cake. It smells toasty, a little bit mm. peanutty. Should we try it out? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, hot. They're really hot. It's great. Peanutty, sugary, yes, kind of caramelization inside. inside. Mm -hmm. Take a peep, guys. Mm -hmm. That is some hollow bread. And you just wouldn't think, like, it used to be flat, and now it's not flat. How do they do it? Straight out of the oven. We got really lucky. I think the coolest part of this for me is it can be really daunting in a new country. You walk in, you see that menu, and you're like, ooh, I definitely don't know any Chinese. Right. And then you just walk out and go to 7-Eleven and eat another hot dog. <laughs> so right over here, we have the sticky rice roll. That's the only thing that has some protein on it, because it's got some egg. Yes. This is <laughs> literally a bread sandwich here. <laughs> yes, fried dough, <laughs> and outside is a crispy sesame flatbread. And right over here, you guys, we have the turnip cake, also called the radish cake. I actually just had this yesterday. Something you guys are probably all familiar with, the shaolong ball or the pork dumpling. They put just a huge, a huge bucket of drum sauce. of sauce right on the table. I That's love that. That's it, yes. Should we go for it? We're gonna yeah, give it a little dip? Go, yes, go in. Dip, dip, dip. Let's go for it. Oh, one bite. Mmm. Mm. Uh oh. How does it feel? Can we ever use that? You're supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth, I think. She tried to bite it in half. It might be your first time doing this. I guess I don't actually know if she's local or not. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't realize there was that much soup in there. Oh, they're soupy. But God, it's really, really soupy, which is a pleasant surprise. And then there's like a big ball of pork in there. It's too big. You can just first bite a little hole. And just let the soup drip out. Pretty unnecessary. Just it, put it all in your mouth. I'm actually gonna cut to the next one. Yeah, cut to the next one. <laughs> next, mm. radish. For radish cake, we're gonna use the same Same pot. sauce. And it's kind of a sweet soy sauce, is that right? Yes, there's a little bit of garlic in little, here. And it's syrupy. My mom radish. got me a radish cake for my fifth birthday. So. What? Your fifth birthday? Yeah. Whoa. It's one of my favorite cakes right after vanilla. 
Mm. It was very good. It's very simple. It has some mild radishy flavors. Mm -hmm. It's soft. And they just threw it on the flat top, let it roast up a little bit. Very nice. Moving around the table. Do you eat that like a hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of just bite it now. Um, no, but really? All right, let's go for it. Mmm, -hmm. it's so greasy. <laughs> Can you see inside there? It is just layers of crunch, much better than I thought. I had my <laughs> doubts when I saw the bread sandwich, but wow. So this place is actually known for their yotel. It's not as greasy as a lot of other places. <laughs> the grease is coming out like a sponge. <laughs> we have saved the best for last. Yes. The protein packed punch of the sticky rice. This is very popular. You'll find a lot of stalls um, selling this, especially near schools and universities. Mmm. Whoa, I can get behind that. Mmm, eggy, chewy, salty. It's got that porky flavor inside. Mm -hmm. The pork floss really adds to the flavor. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm taking a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taiwanese breakfast, you can eat it during lunch, you can eat it for dinner. It really is an all day thing. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see it as breakfast, even though we love it in the morning. It's just nonstop, non always stop. moving, always cooking, yep. and feeding all these happy, content people. Oh, she just fed him a bite. They look very happy. Oh, you don't need a show. Do you want it? But, do you uh, want it? Um, <laughs> so. TJ, let us walk in tandem as we conclude this video. I would like to first say thank you, and also for you guys, Visit TJ's channel because she is covering tons of different foods in Taiwan. Not only that, she's heading to Hanoi very soon in the future, so you'll get to see some <laughs> fun food videos there, I'm sure, too. Also, for you guys, this video is brought to you by One Trip. They are a tour company in Vietnam. They're putting on tours in Hoi An, Saigon, and Da Nang. I'm talking food tours. Village tour, Guji Tunnel tour, Mekong Delta tour. My personal favorite is the food tour in Saigon. You get to ride on the back of the bike, get the real back of the bike experience go to tons of different places, eat a ton of food, and learn about it while you're doing it. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I'm gonna see you next week. The end. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.